Hello, Karibuni Tena to glow up with Makena. I'm your girl Makena, and I totally believe this is the place to be. So, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. So, so, like this video because it's a no, it's a awesome. So, guys, today I have an amazing, a beautiful, talented. Any, she's a multi-talented lady. Now, I'm just an actor, a chat spot. And by the way, this episode, by the way, I'm dedicating it to my mom, dad, sister Joy, because they're such a huge fan of hers. So, oh, that's so sweet. Thank but, you so much, guys. That is so cute. And then my friends over here are trying to distract me. So I know, stop it. I but yeah, thank you so much, guys, for, you know, watching me. You're the reason I have a job, you know. Mm -hmm. So thanks, guys. <laughs> so, so guys, we'll be taking you through uh, a little background check on who is Joyce Minor. I love pia na juu pia games kidogo kidogo pale pale tunamuliza matuswali tricky tricky tunamingiza box <laughs> tuna trend anyway just kidding <laughs> please don't say that please as in headlines I'm are like <laughs> anyway so <laughs> tuanza na mm -hmm. the normal one yes majina yako tunakujua na the official names mm -hmm. uh huh well, come on, Jibi, the Unesha and rock. Yeah, the Ile rock Unesha. Anyway. Yeah, so. Um, oh, that's not good. Okay. Mm. My name is Joyce Maina. I am an actress, I'm a TV host, and I'm an influencer. Yeah. Nini ingi? Mm. <laughs> At least, Mama Magina Kwanza okay. Tanza. Yeah. Like, Mbona will come up na stage name. Ah, that's a good question, man. I don't know. Joyce Maina just made sense, you know? Like, and I know there are a lot of choice miners, but like it just sounds really nice. You know, five letters each. I didn't see one now. But you know what? Actually, my first Facebook name was Joyce Mandy. <laughs> I think you're the first people that I'm telling this. Why Mandy? Because uh -huh. when I went to high school, mm -hmm. I went to this. Can I? I don't want to curse. This school, okay? Uh -huh. And but it was a private school by name, but were treated like stepchildren. <laughs> it was a public school. So it was a big school with two streams. You see, one was in eight. It was between A and B. I don't even remember yeah. what the streams are called. But we were five Joyces in the same year. See, form ones to become Joyce Watano. So some form three or some form four saw me, and she was like, "So I'm like, bro, I'm about to be monolized. Why she's looking at me like that?" Oh yeah. So <laughs> she came and she was like, "Unai tu?" And I told her, "Joyce." Then she turned to her friend. She was like. She would never come Mandy. There was a girl who was called oh. Mandy. Fun fact, it's actually Mandy Saro, the one who does. I don't know if she still does radio. Mm -hmm. She cooks a lot, like on IG. Mm -hmm. So she said, I, they, she said, I look like Mandy, and everyone agreed. So to separate me from the other Joyce, mm. they started calling me Joyce Mandy. Yeah, so it was my first <laughs> Facebook name. But you changed it, of course. Yeah, of course. Like now, I think when I got serious with stuff, I was like, let me just use my official names. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's interesting because yeah. at some point I was like, Mbona hana stage name yeah, like I, after I dropped it immediately I started acting. Yeah. Yeah. So Ulile Lava Wap. Um Hapakule. Um I've grown, <laughs> Hapakule news. Uh -huh. I've grown up actually in a few places, but most of them were in my early like early childhood. Apparently, apparently we lived in Isili, no recollection. We lived in Pangani, that one I only see it in pictures. Buruburu I remember, Nairobi West I remember, and Langata I remember. Yeah. So that's where I spent my adult life. Who no started from the borrow? Mini started from the borrow, man. My parents were little imagine toa yali to toa Islands, Karuleta, Southlands. My parents are hustlers. Fighters. Uh so how's your bringing upbringing? How was your upbringing? I mean it was pretty cool. I had a terrorist of a young brother. Shame, I'm talking about you. He terrorized my life. Um I was very reserved, but I was also very curious. So, like, I never really used to talk much, but whenever there was, like, an activity, I'd want to do it, you know? Like, even Club Kiboko, I remember asking my mom, how did you end up joining Club Kiboko? I don't know if you guys know Club Kiboko. You might be a bit too young. Ah, uh, wait, uh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Ili kuna kuja kiti and then, let's see ourselves there. Okay, yeah, alafu ili kuna ina tupele kama field trips, nini, nini. So, I remember asking my mom, how did we end up joining Club Kiboko? And she was like, because of you. You kept singing on TV, you're like, mom, Club Kiboko, mom, Club Kiboko, mom, until she was like, okay, fine, sour. And back then, registration was like yeah. 1,000. She was like, at least I get some time away from you guys on a Saturday. <laughs> so I was very reserved, but I was also very curious. Yeah. Did you get a chance to host it at some point? No. But I mean, I went on, there was an arts and craft bits of it. Uh -huh. And I actually remember doing it with Tim Jiru. And like, for some reason, he picked me and my brother out. Like, he was like, yeah, you guys come and do the show with me. And I was like, 11. Wow. Uh -huh. And I was like, that's where it all began. That's how your journey That's began. That's where it all began. <laughs> so after that, now you are like, and you are, I want to do media. Ama Imagine, no. Akilia media ilikuja wapi? Akilia media ilikuja. I was forced into it. 
a friend of mine. <laughs> you're forced in a car? Okay, sir. So no, I'm for real, I was forced into it because uh-huh. I, was already, I was always very interested in like the movies. Like my favorite thing to do was like watch movies. And it's the only thing my mom would let me do. Like my mom would actually drop us and pick us from the movies. Anything else, stay in the house. Well, like, she was very strict. She was wow. very strict. So I grew up watching a lot of movies. I loved it. I actually remember looking at like guys in the movies and I'm like, you know, these guys go to work to be different people. Yeah. That's so cool. But I never considered myself doing it. Maybe like, like, like I'd, I'd imagine myself like at them on TV. And maybe I said it once or twice throughout my whole schooling. I never mm. actually said, I want to be an actress. So there was an audition happening. Uh, I didn't want to go because I was like, nah, I think you have the wrong person. <laughs> so you know the way there's, there's the big audition yeah. and then they shortlist you and then they shortlist you again. Mm. So the, when they shortlisted the first time, I was called again by now the guy who had that agency. I didn't go. The last time now when they were doing a, the screen recording, I think I stole someone's job or my first job because they had already chosen someone, oh, right? Oops. They were doing the screen test to see how they look. Cause it, Look one of our uniforms, so you know which you don't yeah. talk about. <laughs> so he told me just come. It was really close to home at the time, and I wasn't in school that day. Yeah. So I went, and immediately the re- director saw me. He said, "Give her a uniform," and that's why I became now the lead of that. Of that. Yeah. Unakumbuka jinaake. The name of <laughs> the movie. I'm on the screen. It was called Too Much. Too Much. Abstain, guys. You were on that advert, that was Joyce. Me. That was <laughs> can we run it here? Like to talk in visa to a part can do go. I think I was wearing a maroon. I half. remember you. That was me. Yeah. That was my first Ch- interaction. Ch- that was my first interaction <laughs> with the camera. Olay. Oh my god. Keep so horrible. I, when I look at it, I'm like, that was such terrible acting. But again it was my first time. And for some reason. But just, imagine people really loved you. Come on, I'm like, oh, I imagine. remember that advert. Some guys in my campus had like stickers on like their knees. Uh, it was weird. It was really weird. But yeah. That was my first encounter with the camera. So high school, you were in high school? Yes, I was in prison. It was prison. It was a prison. Okay. And then I finished at Serare. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, that was a sweetheart. I don't know if I was going to smile like that. At least that uh-huh. one was nice. You know, so I, I've met my best friend there. I've been best friends ever since. It wasn't that bad. I just uh-huh. didn't like the principal. And my mom thought I was making it up. I wasn't. Oh, yeah. Now you can confirm it to <laughs> her. <laughs> Only quite drama club. Okay, back in, uh, in, I, in high school. We imagine we didn't have drama club. Back in my day. <laughs> ah, okay. So, so I'm 45 year old. Imagine drama club. <laughs> I had crab. crab. Drama crab. Crab. Drama crab. Una the crab. Seafood. You know the crab. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, keep me what you expect. Okay. Yeah. Drama club was not really a thing in my particular high school. Actually, in both my high schools, mm. it, they were more about music fest and whatever. So I was in the choir just so that I could, you know, leave school. Oh. Na, na harmonize too. I can't hold a tune. I can't sing. <laughs> but likuapo uh, mm. It's right. It depends. Uh, it's been too long. It's been it's been a minute. Trust me, when you're determined to leave school, you mm. funky. You will sing your heart out, man. That's easy. Very easy. Mm. So, okay, Maliza, high school, what was your dream? Like, when you were nani back in high school? Okay, Maliza. Hey, high school, first of all, let me tell you, I was very confused. Mm-hmm. Me, I was not those people who always had a plan, like, leaving. I, I, yeah, I want to be a lawyer. Mm. I want to do a war. I want to be a... I had no plans when I left high school. My parents even chose the course that I was going to do. For some reason, I don't know why they chose business, because I thought about IR, but I wasn't really sure. So, they told me to do business. So, I didn't really figure out what I wanted to do until yeah. I was, like, halfway through university. Yeah, that's when now, because after the advert, I really didn't do much. Yeah. So when I started in, doing this my hostessing jobs and whatever is when I ran into guys doing auditions mm-hmm. for now acting and whatever and that was like in my second year of university that's when I figured things out so the graduate camp I'm only drop out nearly drop out for a while I didn't drop out okay. for I took a while. 5 years to do my degree that's all I'm going to say uh-huh. cuz you know I started in the middle of uh, university so it was it was hard to juggle but in Malaysia in 2016 mm-hmm. yeah only for so could you by the way? Ah, I think that's the only conversation my dad is to have with me. Hi, how are you? Are you well? So school? Uh, uh, so I just went back. Honestly, I can say I went back just to make my dad happy and I've never seen him so proud till the day that he was so proud. Oh well you are like ah you know about a chum. Yeah, we go to school to continue making man. Let's and they were actually very supportive throughout they were just mm-hmm. like particularly my dad was like just go back to school also. Sour, cool. <laughs> Malaysia too. Yeah, then yeah. you'll see the rest yeah, for you. Yeah, but I finished. Oh, that's really nice. Mm. I watched your story on Abel Mutua. We actually read it by the way. Come mm. on, watch your episode. You go watch it. But I'm such a fan. I'm such a Me cool too. Good games. Cause cool I, I, I just come here to Imagine a jitata live. I'll, I'll call you. We, I, you know, we need to have a conversation. Yes. Anyway, so I listened to the story, mm-hmm. and in the whole Iliquam. 
celebrity first encounter. Yeah. He was describing you now. Yeah, you know, he actually told me about it. He's like, I have a story about you. Me? Me? Uh, I don't remember us meeting, but yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So he said the story about you, and the one thing he really insisted on, you are a strong woman. Because when you guys met, like, he never knew, like, your story. Mm. But then when I realized, wait, you had had issues with your dad and all that. Can we just touch on it? Keep dog or two for... Those who haven't maybe watched the episode. Uh, so, yeah, so my dad went missing for five months. This was in 2018. But by the time I was going for that audition, I think I had just found out. I think a week or two into, mm. like, you know, finding out that he's missing. And I remember being called, actually, Kate is the one who called me, Kate Actress, and she mm. texted me about the audition. I was like, you know what? I don't think just sitting here and, you know, I, there's yeah. nothing I can physically do about it so i was like let me just go for the audition but i won't even let you i was very distracted i even missed the corner for entering where i was supposed mm-hmm. to go i i know thicker road once you miss one turning you're Nimble. going until thicker <laughs> to turn around so uh-huh. i went i turned around they were a bit busy because they were also shooting and holding auditions at the same time so i just sat there and waited i did my thing and then i was told oh just wait i think the scriptwriter wants to talk to you or mm. something like that so i sat there for like half an hour just waiting for like the scriptwriter who at the time was abel to come so he came and told me I was like ah no it's fine actually we've just uh, you know I've, I've seen your audition tape nini, nini, to so later is when he found out that you know when I was sitting yeah. there waiting for him to show up is when I was going through all of that stuff yeah and he was so sorry man he felt so bad <laughs> he's such a nice guy I don't think a lot of people would feel bad for doing that I mean yeah. they'd be like oh no but like he but really lay, lay yeah. intense yeah Ah, but, but we want to acknowledge that actually up at Glopi Makina we are acknowledging mm-hmm. that you're a strong woman I mean you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> I don't deal very well with compliments so I'm going to be very weird about all of them but yeah but you're minutes. like we gotta do the gangster the gangster yeah, way you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> okay, so how was life after that baby? I mean weirdly enough things were career wise they were fantastic which is what things were flowing for you. Things were actually really flowing. I think God went to heaven and he was like, see that one over there? Barricue, yo. And that's when things started looking out for me. That's when I joined Selena. Selena was life-changing for me. Uh, Monica, it, like I was shooting things like consecutively. Mm. That's the first time I became an influencer. And like it's it's been good so far. Yeah. I mean, a few rough sorry. patches, but mm. yeah, definitely. Na penzila sumu. Sumu la penzi. Sumu la penzi. Makena do your research well. Uh-uh. But I was such it's a fine. B- a lot of people say that. Actually. Penzi la sumu. Sumu. Yeah. It's sumu la penzi, it's guys. Sumu la penzi. I was such. By the way, I watch. Yeah. Really, when I watch, yeah. and you, you were that ca- innocent, naive, kam shamba. Yeah, that was def- <laughs> no. That the uh, minus them shamba part. That was <laughs> ter- lot stereotyping. Ka 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 ka. When I find that word, I'll say it. Type casting. Uh-huh. Wow, choice. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was that was definitely that. Now, when you run, now you're just like, "Oh, you're Some people still it. call me that until now. Well, lie. Like Tindi, I'm like, "Wow, you're a day one. You, you're a day one." Because oh, that was my first time yeah. acting. Yeah, I was like, "Wait, who's this girl? You know, you were so innocent." And then yeah. after we could just chat spot, I think mm. now that's when you, you blew up. Like, this is what you could do as well. Definitely. Also, another life changing thing for me is chat spot. Like. It's very weird for me to go places and like people are losing it because they've seen me. Yeah. Like uh, to date, I'm like, is there someone else I'm looking at? Oh, <laughs> 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 it happened like a, it, it happened in a very short time because I joined Switch TV and then Corona happened, so mm. I really didn't go anywhere. People are really not going anywhere. So the minute I left my house the first time, I was like, this this is not real. This is it's someone else's <laughs> life. <laughs> it's not happening. And this is crazy. But yeah, obviously mm. I appreciate it because, you know, Definitely. it's just, the fame is just, it just comes with what you do. Don't go chasing fame. Mm. You just do what you love. The fame, okay. Touch, let's fame, touch. I really don't think I'm a celebrity. Eh. I'm just a popular person. It will come with what you are doing. Don't go chasing at fame and then you won't do well, trust. Mm. Mm. So how did you land on Sumula Penzi? Uh, Sumula Penzi, I had gone for an audition. Uh, one of my many million of auditions. I think I'd auditioned for like two years. <laughs> so I went for <laughs> Sumula Penzi and then I went there again. Long line, we were like 350 something mm-hmm. people. So by the time uh, Gioni was coming, they couldn't have gotten through anyone. Yeah. So they told us, those of you who we didn't audition today, come back tomorrow. To, now that day, the next mm-hmm. day, I had a wedding and I was like, you know what? Ah, yeah, yeah, F yeah. this shit, I don't have to go. Then something else, so imagine just go. <laughs> like if, if it doesn't work out, the at instinct. least you'll have, you'll have a, like a wedding to celebrate and make you feel better. Yeah. So I actually went there knowing if because I job with I'm not trying out yeah. so I went I tried out and I moved on with my life 
three weeks later I'm getting an email oh you've been shortlisted in Nini. Mm. oh my god I was so happy so I went and I was actually there was Jane Enable and Sumula Penzi being shot at the same time yeah. it was by Spielworks so I was actually auditioning for a role on a Jane the Enable. other one yeah mm-hmm. I was supposed to be a receptionist so I went there the first time uh, they shortlisted again the second time but the third time I was coming I was being told you know there's a main character who's dropped out mm. for this other Kiswahili show are you good with Kiswahili I'm like yeah yeah I, mean, yeah. I was like yeah yeah they told me come and audition and that's how I got Tindy a role yeah then after that you make course shorts after shorts yeah i mean not shorts after shorts they're like some down years man that's the thing about being a creative yeah. there are some years will be in a very bad place financially emotionally <laughs> mentally this this thing takes everything out uh-huh. of you but obviously you have to bounce back yeah. because that's what sets you apart from everyone else yeah. people who wali wali baki huko chini wakisema ni sawa tu let me try something else but i kept going yeah yeah so in this creative space mm-hmm. you've been here for some time quite yeah. some time yeah what has the uh, ni, ni moment gani ile kwa your lowest yani you feel okay ni sawa i have achieved all this mm. nimepitia challenges mob mm. but this one particular one in yeah. my career in machine like okay now is a move on but mm. i mean it was a low but it also became a high at some point like me missing out on uh, being a part of sensei for me was That was heartbreaking man because <laughs> like i had come so far you know mm. what i mean because by the time i was auditioning for sense8 i think i'd been in the industry for like three years yeah and i'm and i'm going up against people who've been around for 10 yes. seven some even 15 mm. and for me to make it as far as for them to take me there mm-hmm. how many people can say they've met w- one half of the wachowskis oh, i was like you know mm-hmm. like that was such a big thing for me and i didn't get it but it makes sense now yeah. i wasn't ready for that kind of role at that time but going that far and then getting a note that's very that i think it's that was my first heartbreak yeah, <laughs> yeah. so you look home yeah. personally personally uh, yeah that was hard so baby you're an award winning mm-hmm. actress award nominated award nominated yes. actress yes. so you look award gani ya kwanza in you nominate you like ah bro imagine it's, it's just been kalasha and kalasha. i was like Aisha Aisha at Aisha but you're so talented because when I was doing Aisha I think I was just going through, I was going through a slump in my in mm-hmm. my career mm-hmm. like I kept doing the same thing over and over and over again you know so I was like it even got to a point I didn't feel like shooting Aisha and at the same time I was shooting Neophobia like two films that pushed my career forward mm. I didn't want to do them and then everyone's like oh my god you did so great oh my yeah. god you made me cry I'm like are you serious yeah so and I got that nomination I was like that that was definitely a pat on the back to be like you imagine you're fine you're doing okay you're doing okay you got to sour just yeah pat yourself on the back yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so such a spot ka kuja mm-hmm. now that happened oka blow up so yeah. ulifika ji chat spot of course kulikuwa na zile guest or whatever yeah, 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 yeah. so chat spot mm. um chat spot I got I got called by the former uh, producer she's called Lolo I still I still don't remember how she got my number. I asked her and she told me, but I think to look at another app like as how. So she uh, she called me. I remember like 2019 was also like a very rough year for me career wise financially. So the story is nobody tell but 2019 was rough. It was rough. Mm. The jobs I was getting, I didn't want to do them anymore. The jobs I wanted, I wasn't getting. So I was broke for a very long time. So when 2020 came, I was like, okay, it's time to reset my yeah. like dress like game plan. Form. Mm. like I wasn't even like on social media the whole of January. So when she was calling me and she was telling me oh I'm from CCTV I'm looking for a guest host at the back of my mind I just kept kept telling myself please say February please say February. <laughs> We want you on the first week of February. I was like yes the universe is on my side yeah. because I didn't want to go into something and I don't have a plan. Yeah. So by the time February came around I came I was actually the last person to audition and apparently they'd already picked like the people they thought they wanted to join wow. and then i remember coming here and the makeup artist uh, telling me daily <laughs> daily such a girl she came and told me like oh my god you have changed the game when you come pale kwenye nisi ndio eh when you come down oh my god you've changed the game now i think they want to pick you i think <laughs> they should pick you like she was gassing me that she's a very nice person uh-huh. i was like for real like i cuz like i feel like they were very settled on eh. those people but they were like there are, there are too many people who were told to come they just come. yeah and you know i came and i changed the game <laughs> You you actually did. <laughs> yani you're such a vibe. Kwanza yeah, yeah. time yenu like when you were you mm-hmm. ilianza na kina nani? Mimi Mikali. Yuko Strusi, Mikali yeah. and Nana. And Nana. Yeah. Yani you guys. Eh. Yeah, that was fun. I've learned a lot definitely. It's, it's been, been a journey. Yeah, it's, been a, yeah, it's been a journey. Live TV is hard. <laughs> is it? It's not like acting. You know yeah. acting you're not talking directly to the camera. So, but it's it was it was I remember coming here and being like 
I belong here. Because I'd come here before. I'd actually mm. come here with, uh, with Daniel Peter when he was doing Switchboard. Uh, uh-huh. I remember coming oh, here. Oh, yeah, working. Working, him working as, sorry. Yeah. DP. Calling. <laughs> Back in my day. Okay. So, uh-huh. Yeah, so I remember I'd actually come with him here once. And I remember thinking, man, this is such a fun environment yeah. to work. Besides Chatspot, you should have been kind of like employed. Have you... How do I say this? Why it's called a job? Uh-huh. Yeah, as an employee, like employee, you get what I mean. No. Say it's a contract or anything. Absolutely the, not. Uh, as an adult, I have not. Love the internship too. You too. Would you employ your babe? <laughs> the stars, <laughs> your stars. No, I don't think I'm meant for nine to five men. I have such a short attention span, man. Like even like when one hour kifika, I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, now I'm going to give you 15 minutes of my attention, yeah. like, separated. <laughs> because my mind, <laughs> I've always had a short attention span. Uh, I don't like doing the same thing for long. So, yeah, I've never been employed. Uh, thankfully. Thankfully. Yeah, I started working when I was very young. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, babe, naruliza uh, sali personal kidogo. So, ulisema, there's a interview lisema mm-hmm. see interview mm-hmm. kuongea kwa chat okay me i'm such a fan of chat but okay, i told you so nice. <laughs> most of the things ni we nilitoa nilikuwa nakumbuka wait alisema hivi alisema hivi so mm-hmm. ulisema utaanza mm-hmm. kutra- utaanza sasa ku travel cuz now you're single yeah and just last week uliko na vacation i think last week last week but one mm-hmm. so are you still single or are you single samba I am single and ready to mingle. It was by okay, so we postponed <laughs> my birthday weekend because uh-huh. there was a lot happening that week for my birthday. Mm-hmm. And then the next week I had a wedding, so the best time to go was now towards the end of September. Mm. And you know, I went with all my friends and my brother. Uh, and your stubborn brother. You are a bully. If I ever die of high blood pressure, it wouldn't even be my children. Uh-huh. My brother. Your brother. Yeah. So, so you may confirm they can slide into your DM. Shoot your shot, bro. Okay, handle Zako, but definitely on a job, but when you're going to shoot everywhere, everywhere. I have a blue tick. That's what you guys know. You have blue tick. Okay, so so um, I'm um, in the industry for quite some time. Mm. Mm-hmm. What's the worst thing a celebrity, your fellow celebrity, has ever done to you? I don't have celebrity friends, so I know as in <laughs> see friends at her. Some, I can't say. You know, the way you meet you, with these celebs on sets, I working tell something, together. You know, I'm to, uh, keeping to myself. It's very few sets where I've actually made friends with people. And it's not that at I'm snobbish or whatever. Yeah. I'm actually not snobbish. People think I'm snobbish. But I'm the nicest person you meet. Ask her. She said hi to me and she could not believe it. I know. Because <laughs> we met. Yeah, at the event. Mr. Which, Seed. Uh, and I was like, hey, Jess. I was expecting, like, hi, you know, yeah. like, hi. Are you I'm like, hi? Person. Oh, she's really nice. She's such a sweet <laughs> yeah, it's just I've always kept to myself. Like I said, as a child, I was very reserved and it carried on into adulthood. adulthood. So it's mm-hmm. very hard for me to say, like, I have industry friends. I have people I've hung out with. Yeah. I have people I've known for a while, but I wouldn't say I have industry friends. Yeah. So what's the what? I couldn't have asked to anyone, the random, random celebs are shake Of course, I couldn't have asked But okay. you have to know, like, wow. You have to know, like, bro. Okay, so I just said, as an upcoming. Yeah, okay. I'm really upcoming. trying to think, but I'm going to bro. You can't disrespect any gangster. You can't. I just need to look at you once, mm-hmm. and you will not talk to me badly. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I really can't uh, recall. You can't recall. And recon. also, I do not take disrespect sitting down. Okay. Hey. I might be five foot three, but my attitude <laughs> is six three. <laughs> okay, so so uh, have you ever approached a guy? It's a game, like just fun, fun, fun. fun. I mean, yeah, not like directly, uh, but like how ever, give us the but tips. like I've ever like slid into his DMs, you know, uh-huh. like I pretended I was interested in something he had posted, so that you could like see my profile uh, and be like, oh, oh she's cute. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Who is your Kenyan celebrity crush? Pollen. Okay, not ni mo Kenya sasa. Okay. Wakati um, Kenya mefika. Who's my Kenyan celebrity crush? Uh-huh. <laughs> ah, on a I don't want to say Dr. Gia, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, fine. For some weird reason, it's come out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Okay, Nyashinsky has always been my day one. But for some weird reason, like, Kenshin's is looking nice. Like a schnock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is recent. This is very recent. Mm-hmm. I also don't understand it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine later, too. The hat works. Just walking, walking, walking around without a shirt. What do you expect? Hey, oh, my God. Please don't show you this. I just care, Sana. 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 Mm. What's your biggest weakness? My biggest weakness? I always give people chances, man, even when they don't deserve it. Yeah. Like, always, you know, try to redeem someone. Mm. Like, you're not innately bad. I'm giving you a chance to be good. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Okay. Alafu, will you still change your birth size? 
your breast a size. Hundred I remember that quite a hundred, chat spot pair. A hundred percent. Listen, uh-huh. if you're looking for a paid partnership <laughs> and you know and you do cosmetic surgery, uh-huh. my handle is at choice minor. And my email is Miss JN Minor at gmail.com. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this. Kuna be a share up. Hey, if you do cosmetic surgery and you're looking for an influenza, call me. <laughs> so, ungepele kwa island wa choko ambayo chagua watu wawili. Celebrities, let me say celebrities to you. Oh, no. brother, definitely let us say. Obviously, I'll say my so brother. So, that's I said celebrities, wanya tunajua. Two, unaenda kwa island. Hakuna sema kuna anything, just go with them. Two celebrities. Damn. Okay, I choose Mbithi because he cracks me up. Mm-hmm. Like, that guy has me in stitches. Mm-hmm. And, God, celebrities. <laughs> I want to pick Nana, but she has kids. I want to pick Brenda, but she has a kid. Eh. Maybe if someone who doesn't have a kid, everyone has kids. Uh, <laughs> and Do you have plans of having kids? Speaking of kids, Kwanza, yeah, actually, Peter Raps. Yes, yeah, mm. For sure. Sawa. Yeah. Wait, uh, Baba Mtoto. Can, can we just stick with Mbili? Mbili? A speaker. A Bluetooth uh-huh. speaker. I'll be uh-huh. fine. Yeah. Atenda. Hakuna kitu ngini muna beba, ni mtu tu. Mm. Oh, so. Eh, ni mtu tu na beba. Let's just stick with Mbili. Mbili. Yeah. Your addiction. What's your addiction? Sugar. Like I, I'm a pastries person, I'm a candy person, anything to mm. eat sugar is my downfall, fitness wise. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Your ass- the assumption people have about you? That I'm a snob, like that is the number one. You have the B face yeah. from afar. Yeah, I have a tooth face. <laughs> <laughs> is it a family friendly friendly show? Uh, it's I mean, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know but, we had King Kalala. We talk at Teta Teta, and you know how that mama is. That must have been so hard. God, I'm so sorry. Um, much love though. Um, much love. Yeah, much I have a resting bitch mm-hmm. face, and honestly, it's just my face. Mm-hmm. Like I've ever caught myself. You know mm-hmm. those changing rooms that have like two mirrors. So while I was changing, see, I'm looking at this mirror, and then mm-hmm. I turned. I happened to like look on this other side. I was like, oh my god, that's me. <laughs> I'm uh-huh. so scary. Mm-hmm. It's just my face, but I'm a nice person. You're the if nicest person so ever. Myself. You actually are. Mm. What do you hate most in this world? So many things, man. Human beings are just some of the worst people <laughs> to ever be created. And also some of the best people to be created. Uh-huh. I hate rude people. Um, I hate disrespectful people because if you're disrespectful, I will fight you. Okay, I'm joking. Yeah. I might. You might. Uh-huh. I'm a changed woman. I hate rude people. <laughs> I hate disrespectful people. Uh-huh. I hate conceited people you know people who there's confidence and then there's being conceited when you cross the line of yeah. confidence you're mm, conceited mm. And, or you're you know cocky so yeah just those, you those know, ones it's more behaviors for me actually mm. yeah <sighs> so odau 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 that's the time we had this beautiful beautiful mama over here beautiful mama okay babe what do you regret most um not starting sooner. I wish I started my career sooner. Mm-hmm. I'd have been so much further, but also I guess there's some lessons I had to learn before I started mm-hmm. because I'd have been lost without those lessons. Yeah. Uh, is there that one next that you miss the most? And why? Don't even mention names. I don't know. I don't know. Really? That's a question, woman. <laughs> is there an ex that you I, miss I, and why? I really don't miss my exes when I give them. Me mm-hmm. to... So if you ever hear rumors of Joyce getting back with her ex, it's a lie. It's a lie. Because by the time in Aisha, I've really thought about it and I've overthought about it. So I wouldn't say like I miss them. I wish them well because most of them are yeah, still course. on talking terms. Yeah. I don't miss anyone in particular. So babe, you've done interviews. This is the weirdest question I think I'll ever ask. You've done interviews. Which is that one question you've done in if you have a, sp- I'm a, you're not crossing your fingers. Please Are don't you dating? ask me this. Are you dating? You hate that question? Because I'll always tell you I'm single even when I'm dating. So you never know. <laughs> so you've left to us over here. <laughs> so much danganya up. I don't like that question. Opendi lakini. So, tunajua. We know now. <laughs> so, baby, you have a YouTube channel? Yes. G- Call the East African Girl or just type Joyce Minor. It will show up. Joyce Minor, the East African Girl. Is it still so active? No, it's not. It's not as active. Because <laughs> I was like, sit down. Uh huh. But I'll be back with some new content. You'll love it. You promise. I promise. Nakama would watch the previous ones. I will go watch yeah, you guys. Yeah, they're fun. Kwanza kuna ulifa nyana. Wahura. Oh, man, In the that was amazing. building. That was fun. <laughs> Wahura, I miss you. Can you come back so that we can do another video? Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> From the management. <laughs> From management. <laughs> From management. <laughs> so, babe, thank you. Give us a parting shot. Mm. Plug yourself. Yes, um, again, my social media handles are Joyce Miner everywhere. I'm not on Twitter, so if you look for me on Twitter, you will find some weird Joyce Miners. 
so the main ones uh, TikTok I am the Joyce Miner Facebook I'm Joyce Miner Instagram I'm Joyce Miner and thank you so much for Good coming evening. make sure you like subscribe share all that fancy stuff <laughs> to baby show in okay. I didn't say you know I'm used to meaning that's my tagline I know karibu ni sema the East African girl I know It's okay. Zote mbili. Sema zote mbili basi. To the East African girl and glow up. Is it just glow up? Yes, glow up with Makena. Glow up with Makena. Ah, I thought you could not jua. Imagine kuna watu wanakuja na set. Tunamaliza mleke. Hata uju liko wapi na kama nime kidnap niko kupeleka kwingine. So, do you work out? Work out with me. Babe, I bought mama belongs. You have such a Kuna body goals jamani. Yeah, I do. I body goals jamani. Body goals. Umefunika but babe kuna body goals. Thanks man. Thanks. Kwanza tumeona zile pale IG. Umetu mm. no Tesla na nini? Ni, ni, ni. Uh-huh. Papu mua. Fla- mm. Hakuna flat sami. <laughs> Haina taya. Na hana taya kitu mm-hmm. ananga ni. Sawa. Haya. And that's true because there's no shame in my game. Hey, sawa. <laughs> Ni so, kama taglines. Uko ni live hapo. Itabidi by the way. <laughs> oh, itabidi umekuwa artist by the way. Eh, my producer tuko na artist hapa. Yeah. <laughs> I'm signing for free kwa za kwa market pia. You know? <laughs> I was told that they talk really quickly so I could be a rapper. So for real, ungeweza? Mbaya sana. Sawa tutaku plug after this. Acha tupige simu 1 2 3 after this. Definitely. So guys that's <coughs> sorry. Cut. Take one take two. <laughs> so Adal, that is the time we had today. Hapa glow with Makena with the amazing same namjua kama the chat spot host, the team master. <laughs> Tima Star TV by then nyinyi wallahi. Eh what TV? It's not unsolicited. Yeah that's hint. <laughs> Mm. Oh, just could you not just send all a trend for Edgar? Mimi. Ah, uh, Sisi. Oh. Hey. Go, na, na, I was like Erico again. Mo- again. No, not so. <laughs> Sisi na recommend you a trending so I was like, ah, oh. I got to kuji hapa tena. Anyway, thank you guys for watching Hadi Saizi. Please subscribe to the Eastern East African East African girl, girl and to glow up with Makena. I'm your girl Makena. Our guest Choice Joyce Miner and the v- amazing videographer real devi until next time adau i love you ciao <laughs>